Hey everybody, welcome to the December of 2022 patron Q&A, the Christmas Q&A, the last Q&A of the year, the Happy New Year Q&A. Of course, a massive thanks to all the support that you guys have given me in 2022. I've got lots of big plans for 2023 and I'm definitely going to need your help. So if you want to jump on board and patron, get your questions in, get videos early, uh, lots of other benefits, get on Discord, all of that sort of stuff. Come and chat to me in Discord, we're normally playing COD and stuff most evenings. Please, please do that, because I will need your help in 2023, particularly early 23. <laughs> but, without further ado, let's go on and answer the questions that we have had from those wonderful patrons. Alan Waters, season greetings, Lady Reno of Hailing and Lord Spicy of Hampshire. By the way, we did not do anything with established titles, just to be clear. <laughs> that if you want to, oh God, if you haven't looked into the update of that, look at Scott Schaefer's most recent video because a channel called Heavy D Sparks made an in, well, a video with the people from established title to prove it wasn't a scam. It yeah. was interesting. <laughs> uh, may your bird be well stuffed and rum be most spiced. Oh. Uh, now my question. Next year, can we have a Derek and Divi advent calendar? <laughs> I'm getting sick of chocolate now. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I can do that. I mean, they probably are companies that sell advent calendars custom printed, but it's Maybe. the whole food side of things makes yeah. stuff very tricky. Um, generic says, Reno and Spicy with their powers combined become Reese's Pieces. Okay. Pieces. Sure. <laughs> As for your questions, uh, have you ever gone go-karting to get a new appreciation for how nice your bikes truly are? Because if not, I would highly recommend it even makes my 125 feels like a rolls afterwards. <laughs> Always wanted to go go-karting, never I've had the opportunity once. to do it, and I don't know how well I'd fit in one now. I've gone once on, you know like when they have a fairground and they'll have That's one on the there? That's the slow ones. Yeah, I think the we're slow ones, not a proper ones, one. Yeah. I'd love to do a proper one. So uh, now, would kind of like to, but the, the, there was only one place near here for years, I think it was Gosport, I just never had the opportunity to go. Other thing though, would you fit in a go-kart? Well, I just said that, I don't know. Uh, mean 1974, hey spicy, uh, sorry, hey sir spicy and lady Reno, hope you're having a great crimbo. If Santa replaced his reindeer for bikes to tow his sleigh, what would he choose? <laughs> well, going on the speed he needs to go, um, mm. supercharged high boosters. <laughs> I can just imagine it now. <laughs> but I'd rather that it was Derek's. <laughs> Um, I would also like your thoughts on making the theory test mandatory for the first time CBT uh, which would valid for all further CBTs. My reasoning is all other licenses, um, riders, drivers must learn all the rules, hazards, awareness, so, uh, and some never go th further than a CBT, so never, f never s fully learn. God, try and get that out. Um, yeah, I've made videos talking about this. I fully agree mm. that they should make theory part of CBT. I do not believe it should last more than two years because it doesn't last more than two years in anyone else's case, and also. Your, CB, your CBT only lasts for two years. Um, it, that, in that regard, yes, I know it sucks. You'd have to do it every two years. And I was someone who went through that, well, of the CBT side and wouldn't want to go through that. So it would suck. But equally, they really, well, no, as I've said before, they just need to make the schools follow the CBT rules. Yeah. None of this, oh, you, what, what's that? You've bought a 125 geared bike and you're not very good at it today. Well, I can't be asked teaching you how to do that. So jump on the 50, then go on the public highway on your own and just learn. Yeah. You know, you know, it's like, oh yeah, we could train you on that. But instead, you just go and use that lathe and just work it out as you go along. <laughs> Got your sleeves rolled up? Ah, it shouldn't matter. Uh, Mifesto says, festival question for Saini. You must celebrate one with your family. Would you choose Christmas or your birthday? Uh, um, um, I guess Christmas, because it makes more sense. Yeah, I think for me and my family, I'd probably pick Christmas, because then there's presents and everyone gets a present. And Yes. Um, also, do you have special or homemade Christmas ornaments? No. No, I don't even do Christmas decorations. Um, Christmas is, uh, until Christmas returns to being what it's actually about, which is the family side and the not the commercial side, that's when I'll be more interested again. <laughs> Paul Dunkley, season's greens to you both. I ride both cars and CBT bikes and always had odd cars and bikes like in 1976, Reliance Scimitar, a 1982 Lotus Elise, uh, Honda Shadow 125, 
as well as normal cars and bikes but if you was going to have a long term project for a small engine bike like classic D RD125 or DT125 for example what would you what would your bike of choice be um the DT125 is an interesting one but probably i don't know something too strokey for fun and maybe i don't know yeah, because I kind of, I always looked at the DT125s in the past and how people had turned them into, did they do a supermoto version or did people turn them into, no, they did a supermoto version. I always thought they looked quite interesting. David R says, hi, spicy no. Do you think the latest 200 uh, brake horsepower superbikes make any sense? Apart from the looks, how could you ever use the performance on the road? I'm guessing most owners will never be able to use it. Wishing you both a very Merry Christmas. Uh, I have made videos yeah. talking about that for over half a decade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think the first one was called Are Modern Bikes Too Fast? or something along those lines. I completely agree with you. Anything above about 160 brake horsepower or 180 if it's more in the torquey way um, is a complete waste on this on the road. And yeah. I will have way, way, way more fun on, say, a Suzuki 650, uh, SV650 with an A2 compliant engine than I would on a Hayabusa. Yeah. Or, or even like a 1,000. They're just... It's not the fun side of motorcycles to me. Sure, if the fun side for you is fast, and I think that's what a lot of people get into bikes to start with, is fast. But fast, you can't do fast forever. So yeah. you need fun. And yeah, I I completely agree with you basically on that. Um, Anthony Butterworth. Uh, Hi, seasons. Greetings to all. Are you going to be doing a nut hunt next year? No, because I don't know where the nuts are now. It, yeah. the, the last <laughs> they were found then they then it went all quiet then they were found again randomly after months and then it kind of went quiet and again now i have zero idea where they are or what's going on with them um i've kind of just given up on all that because it didn't i mean it, it went great the first time but this i think since covid and that they've moved probably twice or something i don't know it's it's probably time to <laughs> retire them I don't know that's if we even know where they are uh, Daniel <clears throat> Boddington says hey Spicy and Bruno hope you both have a good and full a f good and full of festive cheer what's on the menu for Christmas day do you have a turkey or another form of animal Merry Christmas and I hope you have a nice chilled one uh, there is normally turkey and gammon around yeah. uh, I don't do Christmas dinners I, don't, I can't eat roasters and stuff like that it just makes me feel sick uh, so I normally have my Christmas sandwiches, which is basically I just I'm like the meat's cooked. I've got that, and then I can just put turkey mm. and gammon, and the main ingredient it has to have a good amount of cranberry sauce in it because I love cranberry sauce. I don't, but I like the meats and I like gammon. It's my favourite. Yeah, so that's kind of how it is. Right. Well, as I say, thank you very much to all of you in 2022. Please join and continue to help support this channel in 2023. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new here. So links to Patreon are down below. And, um, frog. Frog. You'll become... I... you become... Frog. All of a sudden I want to eat flies. No. And maybe I'll do bites. Oh. Oh, God, I'm scared.